All right, what have we here? We got this uh, this uh, board game bracket that somebody made. So let's just get look through this and see what what I think uh, are are the best board games. I've played a lot of board games. I haven't actually played the Gallerist, but I'd imagine it's better than Gloomhaven. So we'll put that there. Already to a rough start. I played both of these, so don't worry, we're good. Um, <laughs> yeah, what a rough start. I haven't played one of these games. Okay, Seven Wonders versus Fuji Magnet. Seven Wonders, of course. Mansions of Madness versus Keyflower. Ooh, I'm going to say Keyflower. Okay. Uh, Root or Spirit Island. I have not yet played Spirit Island, so I'm going to go with Root, but I will bet Spirit Island is a pretty great game. Great Western Trail or Kalis? I have not played Kalis, so Great Western Trail, and I do enjoy Great Western Trail, probably so. Uh, Marco Polo vs. Agricola? I've played both, don't worry. And Marco Polo is one of my top 10, if not top 20 board games. Uh, my wife loves it, very great. Uh, Mage Knight, I took forever trying to learn that game. I uh, took a little bit of time trying to learn Fields of Arl and thought, eh, eh Agricola's better. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll go with Fields of Arl. I don't think this one's making it to the top of the bracket down uh, as the, as, uh, who's going to win this tournament? Will it be Wingspan? Will it be Gaia Project? Uh, I'm assuming Gaia Project is similar to Terra Mystica. If so, sure, I've played Gaia Project. I haven't actually. Uh, we'll go with Wingspan. I didn't really enjoy Terra Mystica. That's just me. But I've played it quite a bit of times. I've, that's one of the games I played in China. And playing with uh, Chinese folks uh, is a different spin on a lot of games. Uh, just cultural differences. Um, especially cooperative games. But anyways, that's another video I could do later. Alright, Through the Ages uh, versus Dominion. Let's go Through the Ages. Especially the app. That is really great. Lahav. Uh, you know what? I haven't played Lahav, so I'm not a good authority on this one. I heard that it is like a better version of Agricola, but I don't know. Let's go with Puerto Rico. Not that Puerto Rico is amazing, but uh, Arkham Horror, Zulkin the Mayan Calendar. Uh, played both. Didn't really like either one, but Zulkin might beat it out. Rising Sun, Castles of Burgundy. Let's go with Rising Sun, um, Terra Mystica, Twilight Imperium. I haven't played Twilight Imperium. I'll bet it's great, but Terra Mystica doesn't take all night to play, so maybe I'd rather play that. Through the Ages, uh, Seven Wonders Duel. Gotta go to Seven Wonders Duel. I love that game. You know that. Uh, Pandemic Legacy Season 2. That's my favorite of the Pandemic Legacies. Probably my favorite legacy game would be that Pandemic Legacy. Um, and now we got Clank, a deck building adventure, or Star Wars Rebellion. I played both of these. Even though Star Wars Rebellion intends to be a bit long, I'll choose it because that is just such a cool experience. Seven Wonders over the Gallerist. Keyflower Root. Let's go with Keyflower. I need to get to learn Root, the different factions in Root more. That's a game you can't just play, uh, you know, a couple times and then really get to know it. Like, because there's all sorts of different factions and stuff. But I thought it was like, oh, we're going to get close to winning. Oh, we're going to get close to winning. And then everybody had their own way of winning and getting points. And it was a little tough to follow. I've only played it one time in real life. And online I've played Root maybe five times um, and every time played with the Eerie uh, the bird people but sorry Root had to lose because Keyflower is so great I can talk about that a little bit later Marco Polo versus Great Western Trail they're both great games uh, Great Western Trail would be in my top 100 Marco Polo is top 20 Fields of Aro Wingspan Wingspan's in my top 100, so Wingspan would be there. Through the Ages, Puerto Rico. I'd say Through the Ages. That is just such a great game to play uh, with the app. 
Zulkin, or on the app, Zulkin the Mayan Calendar, Rising Sun. I just want to play Rising Sun again. That's just such a fun diplomatic war game. Yeah, you literally have to make a friend. You have a yin token and they have a yang token, and then you you meet together and then you guys are allies. But when you break it up, then you can start fighting each other. Um, yeah, Terra Mystica for Seven Wonders Duel. Seven Wonders Duel. Gotta give it to them. Unless this thing has Terraform Mars or Ghost Stories on it, I'm, I'm thinking Seven Wonders Duel is gonna win this one. Pandemic Legacy Season 2. Star Wars Rebellion. I really have to think hard about this one. I'm gonna give it to Star Wars Rebellion just because of the fun stories that come out of it. Okay. Seven Wonders versus Keyflower. Keyflower is really cool because you are bidding these workers, using workers to bid on, or to, to bid with, uh, and then if you bid yellow workers, somebody else needs to bid yellow workers to beat you, one more than you. And uh, using these workers to bid on special tiles, uh, you got more workers bidding on a tile than everyone else, you get to keep those special tiles. You add them to your city in like a Carcassonne type of thing. So you got bidding and then you got tiling. And then there's a round where there's a little section uh, of the game where you place the your remaining workers and the workers that came to you from, from a boat um, as income. You place them on other people's places or your own places to activate those tiles, but then they stay wherever they're placed. They don't come back to you. So if you have a really beautiful city, you can collect a bunch of meeples from other people. So you got like this one, you know, you can make a yellow worker, mine it and get... Um, you get two wood, okay? So you're collecting a bunch of yellow workers there, and and then, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite fantastic, and you, you end up building this cool little city, and the roads have to match up on the city, um, and you have all these workers coming to your land. It's so great, and at the very end, you have this huge city, a bunch of workers coming to you, or all your workers have left you for, you've sent them away to get other things, because you use those resources you get to upgrade flip those tiles over for a better version of those tiles. Ah, Keyflower. Amazing. <laughs> Didn't know I was going to do a Keyflower rant on you. But, okay, so Marco Polo, Wingspan. Yeah, I've told you already, Marco Polo, top 20 game. Um, through the Ages, Rising Sun. We'll go with Through the Ages? Yeah, not in person, but but on the on the app. Seven Wonders, Dual Stars, Rebellion. Seven Wars Duel. It's my number three game right now. Um, Keyflower, Marco Polo. I've just talked about Keyflower a lot, about how much I love it. Marco Polo. I'm going to stop this list right here and say they are tied. Hmm. Yeah, i got to give it to Keyflower. Um, okay. They're very much tied. Okay, Through the Ages, A New Story of Civilization, or Seven Wonders Duel. Uh, Seven Wonders Duel, yeah. Um, and now the winner of this is going to be Seven Wonders Duel. It's such a great game. All right, Pandemic Legacy Season 1 or Codenames Legacy Season 1. That's got some cool stories that can come out of it too, just like Season 2. Um, Anachrony versus Blood Rage. I say Anachrony, I like the time travel ability, but uh, Blood Rage is a great game. Feast for Odin, Race for the Galaxy. I didn't like Race for the Galaxy that much. I'd rather play Puerto Rico, but uh, um, let's go with Feast for Odin. Um, that one I've been liking more and more now that it's on Board Game Arena. Android Netrunner, I actually have not played, and I have not played this one, so we go with the one that I would want to play more. Seventh Continent, okay. Scythe and Dominant Species, played them both. Dominant Species is a little too long. Scythe is way more streamlined, I like that. Uh, Clans of Caledonia on Orleans. Uh, I really liked Orleans when I first played it, and then it has dropped since then. But Clans, I'm still figuring out, so we'll go with Orleans. Caverna, the Cave Farmers, or Lords of Waterdeep. 
Let's go with Lords of Waterdeep. I liked Agricola more than Caverna, so... Uh, but Lords of Waterdeep is just oh, no, probably one of the best worker placement games out there. So, there you go. Twilight Imperium, Robinson Crusoe. Um, haven't played either one, so we'll do Robinson Crusoe. That was one I'm feeling like I'd like to play. Oh, Terraform of Mars. It's on the list, all right. So I made this list right. Not to slight Patchwork in any way. Patchwork is amazing, and I've heard that he created Patchwork. Uwe Rosenberg created it from creating Feast for Odin. It just took a lot longer to make Feast for Odin. They have similar mechanics, for sure, with those polyominoes, placing them out. Um, Eclipse or Brass Lancashire. We'll go with the... Well, I've played both of these. I really liked Eclipse. I hated Brass, <laughs> so... Uh, Viticulture or Azul. Let's go Viticulture. That's a, a really great worker placement game as well. Um, really hated Brass. Let's do Five Tribes. And Five Tribes used to be in my top 10. I really enjoy it. Um, War of the Ring, El Grande. I haven't played War of the Ring. El Grande was fine. Just fine. Imperial Soul, Concordia. Oh, I loved Concordia. That's top 20 right there. Power Grid. Mechs vs. Minions. Uh, played Mechs once. Uh, didn't super enjoy it. Power Grid, that's really great. Um, Eldritch Horror, Twilight Struggle. Um, Eldritch Horror, I remember spending way too long doing things in it. Um, but Twilight Struggle was a long game too. But yeah, there's something about Twilight Struggle that's exciting with... Uh, you have these cards that have influence on them that allow you to... You can play the card for its special power, or you can play it for its influence if it's your own card, but if you're holding a Russia card, and you're America, um, then, if you're USA, then you play that card, and they get the special event, and you get the, the number for the influence. So you have a choice, or you're helping out your opponent. Very cool. I like that mechanism in Twilight Struggle. A lot more games need to, need to have that. And now, Anachrony or Pandemic Legacy. Let's go with Anachne. Really like those exosuits. This cool toy appeal to it. Feast for Odin. That one is really fun. Cool to craft different strategies. Scyther Orleans. Scythe. Yep, that's on an upward trend for me right now, whereas Orleans is on a downward trend. Lords of Waterdeep. Great worker placement game. Very good for new people, too. Terraforming Mars. Wins out. Five Tribes or Viticulture. I'd rather play Five Tribes, even though they're about tied. Concordia beats out El Grande. Um, such a cool mechanism with playing the cards, and then when you're ready, bring the cards back to your hand and just waste your turn. But now you have, next turn, you have a bunch of cards to choose from. Power Grid, Twilight Struggle. We're going to go with Power Grid, just because it's not as long, but um, Anachrony or Feast for Odin. If I had somebody who knew the rules, I'd want to play Anachrony, but... I know the rules for Feast for Odin. Simpler. Let's go for Feast for Odin. Lords of Waterdeep Scythe. I'm going to say Lords of Waterdeep. Um, and then Terraforming Mars beats out that one. Um, Concordia beats out Power Grid. Feast for Odin beats out Lords of Waterdeep. Terraforming Mars. <laughs> yep, number one. And this is almost rote, like, you know, Terraform Mars is going to win because it's my favorite game. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed that video. I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah, bye.